Hi, my name is Kyle Peterson with Western Stage Props. Today we're going to talk about all of the different trick ropes that we have to offer. The simplest one we have is our kitty trick rope. It features a swivel handle and a Honda that is glued in place. This is known as a fixed Honda. Okay, so it won't slide through. All you have to do is hold your arm out and make tiny circles using only your wrist and you'll make a loop. This is a great product for young children and also for some of the older children who are trying to learn the basics of making a flat loop. Now, if you're trying to get a little bit more advanced, we offer our swivel handle trick rope. This is a 12 foot trick rope and you'll notice that the Honda is not glued in place. That means that it will slide freely. However, it does have a swivel attached to the handle. This makes it a lot easier to learn the basics of trick roping. It looks something like this. Notice when I'm doing my flat loop, the swivel allows the rope to kind of untangle as I do it. If I weren't using a swivel handle rope, I'd have to constantly turn the rope in my fingers like this. Otherwise, it would get kinked up. Now, this is very difficult to do for young people and for people who are just beginning to trick rope. So we offer this swivel handle trick rope as a learning tool to help people take the next step in their journey to becoming trick ropers. Now, the next rope I want to show you is our 13-foot trick rope. This is the rope we recommend for people who are just beginning, but also for experts who just happen to be kind of of a medium or shorter height as well. Now you can see I'm not a very tall guy myself, but I'm comfortably able to handle this rope without it hitting my leg. Okay. Now with the 13 foot trick rope, you can still do most of the tricks in the repertoire of trick roping, including your flat around, your spoke hops. Just a little bit shorter, so you're not as likely to hit your leg as you can see right here. Okay. The next rope I'm going to show you is just a little bit longer, but very similar to the 13 foot rope. That would be our 15 foot rope. It is just a tiny bit longer, and you'll see what I'm saying when I start roping with it. You see, it's making a bigger loop, but I have to hold my arm further away so it won't hit my leg. Now, this could be more difficult for beginners, especially. Now, there is an advantage to having a little bit bigger rope, and that means that's because it's a little bit easier to do your wedding ring tricks. You have a little bit more space. If you have a shorter rope, rope will be tighter to you and you have to be a little bit more precise. So that's the difference between the 13 foot rope and the 15 foot rope. Now the, those, both of those ropes that we talked about already come with a plain taped Honda. The next rope I'm going to show you is a little bit different. This is our 20 foot rope. Rather than just having a simple plain taped Honda, we actually have a leather burner attached. The leather burner makes it so the rope will feed through the Honda a little bit more slowly. This makes it a lot easier for some people. It does make it easier to handle a long 20 foot rope like this. Now remember when I was talking about the 15 foot rope, how I was talking about it getting too close to my leg, with a 20 foot rope, it's definitely going to be very difficult to handle a basic flat loop. So most people that are using a 20 foot rope are using it to do a large wedding ring, something like this. Now you can see this wedding ring is actually quite large. It's big enough that I could fit another person inside of me with me. So sometimes when I'm performing or doing street shows, I have the children come inside the loop with me to take a picture. And this is exactly the type of rope I would use in that situation. Okay, now we're getting just a little bit more advanced with our ropes. The next rope I'm going to show you It's a 24 foot rope with a brass metal Honda. We attach a metal Honda, it's a weighted Honda, to the end of the rope. And the reason we need that weight is because we're going to use it to do something called the Texas Skip. First thing you have to learn is how to make a large vertical loop. You need that weight to do this. vertical loop, try to jump through. It's really not that easy. It takes a lot of practice. But if you want to do that trick, this is the rope you're going to need. 
Now finally, we have just one more rope, and that is our, that is our 40 foot rope. Now much like the rope I just showed you, it also has a weighted brass Honda. Now you can do that same trick I just showed you, but the purpose for this rope, it's not just to do the Texas skip, but to make a very large loop that gets bigger and bigger. I might not have enough room to finish it here, but I think you can get the idea of what the purpose of this rope is. Woo! Sorry. <laughs> this rope is to make a very big loop, okay? So now we've explained to you all the different ropes. The kitty rope, the 12 foot swivel handle rope, the 13 foot rope, the 15 foot rope, 20 foot rope with a leather burner, the 24 with a brass Honda, and the 40 footer also with a brass Honda. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle Peterson and we'll see you later.